to EA Sports. I'm James Stavalski. Pivotal game three of this playoff series tonight. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Oh, he destroys them on the play. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Tremendous stop by Knight. When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Over to Ness. Another feed. And that's sacrificing the body in front. Oh, there's a hit. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Quick shot. Can't get it to go. And he denied him there. The Bears move it ahead. The checkers gain possession in their own end. Bang on pass is center in the neutral zone. A chance in front, and that's intercepted. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Handles the pass. Receives the pass. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. The checkers get a hold of it. Slides the puck over. Hershey's got control of it now from their own end. Bumped off the puck. Takes the pass. And now it's grabbed by True. From the point, they take control of it. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. The Bears have it from their own end. Handles the puck. Here's a shot, and he gets in front of that. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. Makes your life so much easier. Feeds it on over to Giles. Slick feed. And he takes the pass. Moves it quickly over to the Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. You can just see the weight shift, James, there in that slap shot where he's able to just tag it as he walks into it and beats the goaltender low stick side. The Bears land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. And a solid save there as we play on. And now he moves it quickly to Brindamore. Incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. A critical face-off looming here, and let's see if they can maintain that offensive momentum. Well, you know that the defensive side is vulnerable right now with a tire tender, and on the offensive side, you've got to recognize that vulnerability, and you have to attack the net. Massey's taking it from his own end. Takes the return feed. Takes the feed. Shot! And a great seed! Sends a pass over. Charlotte's got the puck in the defensive end. The Bears gain control of it. Solid check to slow him down. With 
possession along the wall. Sends it down low. Here's a shot. Scores! And look at that. The rookie gets hit on the playoff scoring. No, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Having another look at it on the replay, we can see that he got a piece of it, but just not enough, and it squeaks through to the net. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And off the draw, they kick the puck. Charlotte's game possession. The Bears will play it from the defensive zone. McElrath's got the puck. No room for that one to get through. Quick pass to Asplund. From center, they get into the attacking area. Oh, stuck with the pad by Shepard. And he loses control here. Rabinsky's lugging the puck. Look out, here they come on the attack. Scores! The goal! Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck with leaves since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. They use their speed on this counter attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it, they could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Bears take the lead after that last goal. And Cheryl, what do you wait for here now? Do you uh, do you anticipate the counter punch or do you look for the continued push attack? Well, you got to continue to push attack. There is way too much runway left in this game, James. You're in the first period. You got to find a way to continue to compete, continue to maintain the momentum, and put your opponent on their heels. Hershey's got the puck. He got all of that one. Picked up along the wall by Rubinsky. With the stop. Shot. Gets in front of it for the block. Gives them nothing in front. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Charlotte's got the puck. Here's a short pass to True. On the attack along the boards. And on the play. Whoa! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Here we go. Puck's in deep. And he takes the feed. Big hit, and that frees up possession. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Quick snap! Oh, what a pass save on the play! I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Snively stick handling in his own zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Rindemore has got the puck in his own zone. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. The checkers gain possession. Trying to get back on the attack now. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Here in the later stages of this period, the Bears lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Taking possession in their own end. And he takes the dish. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage. And they capitalized and executed with it. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Chippers take control of the faceoff. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Possession of the puck. Pass back to the point. 
The Bears gain possession of the puck here on the offensive end. Made the stop on the play. And look at this. They really ratchet up the intensity here. And they've got it in their own end now. He picks it up. They are under pressure here. The checkers take it across the blue line. Tries to feed it over to Hofer. Moves the puck along the half wall. Can't get it to go. Strong's got it along the boards. Throws it on goal. And that's deflected off someone in front. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. Hofer's got it against the boards. Quick feed to MP. Centering feed! And that's stopped! And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Simple glove save by Knight. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Moves it to Mayhew. Sends the pass over. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. Every playoff game, our team store brings you our item of the game. Stay warm and stylish here at the ring with a scarf tonight priced at just $10. Make sure to stop off the game. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame. And here we go. Still tied up in the second. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The checkers need to step up offensively and more confidence with the puck chains. They're really not entering with any conviction and they're staying on the perimeter. The minority of shots and they're lucky. They're real lucky that this game is still tied. Mayhew's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Shot! How did he stop that one? Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time? You want to take space? Goaltender does it, makes a save. Now a quick pass to Fitzgerald. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The checkers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a chance! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Shepard! Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here he is, wrestling on that! And he gets just enough to keep it out! And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's all tied up. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Charlotte's gained possession along the boards. The checkers move the puck in the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Takes a bump but hangs on. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Benny. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Inside the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. They win the draw and go on the attack. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Great save by Shepard. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 
The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Scrum ensues along the boards. And now he passes up to Frank. And the puck departs the zone. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Big time stop. Shepard's got the puck and he's going to hang on. And they win the draw here in their own end. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Quick feed down low. Quick pass to Ness. And that goes off a player. For point oh, it's denied by Knight. The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. And he takes the feed. Hershey's looking to break out. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Moves the puck across to Beccioni. Huntington's going to play it against the half wall. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the title. Knight's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Up along the wing. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Shepard. Across the line. Tries to dangle, and the puck skips away. Handles the pass. Battling for it along the boards. Hershey's got a hold of the puck now. Centering pass. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Charlotte's won the faceoff. Denies him in front. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Charlotte's got the puck in their own end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Slides the puck down low. Here's a short pass to Giles. Oh, I thought that was in and it just climbs over the net. Well, the fight for body position and the fight to get the hands on the puck, and that's exactly what happens. Just sails it over. Way too much congestion blocks that. Good hit to pump him off the puck. And he slides it quickly to Frank. Takes a shot. Denied by Knight. Fitzgerald's got the puck in his own zone. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Grabs the puck in the slot. Picked up along the boards by Giles. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. More than half the period has expired. We got a tie game. Hershey's got it in the defensive zone. Moves the puck. Nice poke check. Charlotte's got it in their own zone. Jostled off the puck. From the neutral zone now. The checkers played along the boards. Hershey's got it in their own zone. Oh, and they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. And great hustle to come up with the puck. Hammers a shot. Log jam in front. That's broken up. The checkers are across the line and into the offensive end. Fires it. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick be heavy on it with it on the ice, battling to compete for it. He does it, he buries it. 
The checkers have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. The Orioles got it along the wing. Receives the pass. Handles it over to Mayhew. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Hershey's got to find a way to break on through. They've had plenty of shots on net, and yet they trail here in period number two. Off the face off, they take the puck. Carlson's got it in the defensive end. Oh, look at this chance. Oh, look at the pass. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the checkers are looking to build on this one goal lead. Hershey's got possession here in the own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Sends it in front. Scores! What a finish on the play. Oh, James, we have to have another look at this goal. I mean, this is just a hard-working effort goal where you out-battle and out-will your opponent. Why? You're stumbling, and while you're stumbling, your eye's still on the puck. You know exactly where you need to move it before you go down, and you execute. And as a result, it's in the back of the net. Hershey's offensive pressure has resulted in an equalizer here tonight. As an athlete, you always know the end of the period is critical timing. You want to maintain pressure, and you want to gain momentum heading into the third. That goal did just that. The Bears take it along the wing. Keeps it across. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. Dropped him in the open ice. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Penalty coming up here. Empties off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Off target. Scooped up along the wall by Mayhew. Oh, and that doesn't go well. Moves it to the middle. And they get the puck out. And he loses control of the puck. To the low side. Oh, to nice him with the paddle save. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Oh, stick save and a beaut. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Charlotte's power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here. And we are still tied. Well, it's a critical juncture. Game is tied, and the PK unit does a real great job of keeping it there. Here in the late going of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Bears are on the attack. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Some fragile timing here, James, at the end of the period. It's a close game. Your peak airs have to get to work. They can get some rest of the intermission, and they can start the next period. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Quick feed to Oreo. And he was ready for that save. Puts it on net. And there's the horn bringing an end 
into period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Which one of your team players has the hardest shot? Who do you think is the fastest skater? We'll answer all of those questions at our skills competition. For tickets to one of the most exciting competitions this season, check our website out or call us here at the stadium. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. The Bears go right back at it on the power play here and win the draw to start the frame. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. Charlotte's got the win off that draw. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, the tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Hershey's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Bears carry it along the wall. Huge steal at his own end. Takes the pass. standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Charlotte's on their way to victory if they can hold down this lead through the rest of the third. Well, it's all about game management, but they can't just sit back and hold on. Otherwise, their opponent, they will look to attack and they will take advantage. Put them back on their heels. Be in the offensive zone where they can't get an opportunity to attack you. The Bears have it against the wall. Handles the puck. Hershey's caught it along the wall. Had an impressive night so far. I mean, he's had a multiple point night, creating a ton of offense, and you know that he's not done yet. Moves it quickly over to Beccioni. That's set of ice now. He grabs the puck. Denies him on the slapper. The checkers gain possession along the wall. The Bears get a hold of it. Slides it diagonally to Snively. Slides the puck across to Beccioni. Quick pass to Rowe. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. That opportunity is rejected. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Checkers have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Jabs the puck away. Piece of it to keep it out of the net. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Shot! Well, stop right there! Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end! We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. The Bears' enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. Rubinsky's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Lots of fly, with the stop. Knight's got 
the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. Slip feed. Here's a short pass to Rabinski. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Here's a shot. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. You gotta find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Charlotte's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Charlotte's got a hold of the puck. And it's a quick pass to Carlson. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to slide away. Shepard's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Huntington's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And now it's grabbed by Carlson. Great poise here as he gets it back. Puck picked up in the open ice. Dumps the puck in. Still has possession. Charlotte's got the puck along the wall. Power play has expired. It's amazing how a kill can put your opponent on their heels because they have an opportunity on the offensive side of the puck. At a critical time of the game, when the game is still within reach, massive kill. Made the save on the play. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Picked off by Snipley. He says, let's get physical on that play. Quick shot, and there's the save. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Straight up the middle, here they come. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Now he takes it over the line. Quick feet. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James, and I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Hershey's made this anybody's hockey game now. We are all tied just the way we love it, Cheryl. Yeah, everyone loves it in the building. I mean, the energy that it's created and the buzz. You can see everyone on the bench. They were up cheering, and this is the momentum switch in the game. This face-off is critical. You want possession. You want to continue to drive the pace and put them on their heels. Played big in the moment there. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Past the halfway mark of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And he sacrifices his body to block the shot. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Centers glide into the dot as a face off ready to resume play. They take possession as he locks him up off the face-off. Hershey's got the puck. Taken along the wall by Rabinski. The Bears have played from the defensive zone. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Knight's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. 
The checkers start with the puck in their own end. Flips it up to that. Makes the save. Here they come. Still on the left side on the attack. Offside the call. We'll get a reset. The Bears win possession here in the open ice. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Huntington. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Snaps it on net. Oh, the poke check. What a read by the goaltender. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. In the final moments of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Hershey's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Misses the net, and will play on. Well, you work so hard to get these opportunities, and you have to find a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice. With possession along the wall. Sends the pass down low. Moves it to Fitzgerald. Nowhere for that shot to go through. And he takes the pass. Sends it out in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Offensive zone faceoff. Rose got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Pad saved by Knight. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. The Bears cross the line and gain the zone. And that's broken up. The Bears get a hold of the puck. And that's blocked. The checkers have it now. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Takes the feed from the wing. Oh, he got rocked and dumped right into the opposition bench pounder. Oh, and half the bench is up, right? They want to see what the heck's going on. And on the other side, he's in the laps of his opponent. You got to collect yourself and get out of there. The checkers gain the zone. Oh, dumped right over the boards. Well, yeah, and he's in the opponent's bench. This one's embarrassing, James. I mean, you're in your opponent's lap here, and you got to crawl your way out back to your side. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Mayhew. Blocked in front. Pucks it away in his own end. Miss shot from the slot. the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence well this is just a fabulous shot when you're in that high slot area you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly so you gotta have a quick release that's the first thing and the second thing is the accuracy if it's quick and it's on you're going to score the checkers have to be feeling good about themselves after taking the lead with that goal here in the third. Yeah, and it's not much of a cushion the way this game has gone back and forth, James, but it's something. You're in the lead, so now you want to continue with that tempo. Find a way to push your opponent back. Continue to punch and press. Quick pass to McElroy. Turns it away. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged. Establish themselves as a playoff performer while the rookie an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. Less a strong effort all the way around, stingy defensively at the end of the game, and they're able to get that empty netter. And at the dying minutes here, James, it should seal the deal. Charlotte's effort has really impressed me tonight here, Cheryl. And after that, EN in the old statistical book only adds to the lead. Yeah, and it's going to be all but over, isn't it? You know, you put it in the 4 by 6 it's empty, and you know everyone just starts jumping because they realize they just won the game. Goal is off the bench, and the extra tackler is now out of the ice. There's the final word, and that'll do it here this evening. A complete team effort tonight, and as a result, Cheryl, they've gone up in the series. Yeah, it's got to feel good to go up in the series and have a leg up on your opponent. Now it's about continuing to do exactly what got you into this position. Continue with the good habits and continue to press.
Thanks so much for joining us for this postseason action, and we will see you at the next playoff game. See you, everybody.